channel for physics. Please subscribe my channel. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Physics Partner. Today I would like to discuss about Wimshurst machine. Let's talk about the history of this machine. This machine was invented by James Wimshurst. He was born in 13 April 1832. He was a British inventor, an engineer and a shipwright. He is best known for developing the Wimshurst machine, an electrostatic generator that is designed to produce high voltage charges. Wimshurst did not patent his machines and the various improvements he made to them, but his work has had a lasting impact on the field of electrostatics. Let's have a look of the working principle by using a virtual lab. This is the model of the James Wimps Hurst machine. This machine consists of two insulating discs mounted in parallel and rotating in opposite direction. You can see here these are these discs which are mounted in parallel and they are rotating in opposite direction. The discs have several metal sectors attached to their faces with metal strips connecting the sectors on each disc. As the disc rotate, the metal sectors pass each other and create a difference in electrical charge between them. You can see here on the screen that will produce the electrical charge. This difference in charge causes a spark to jump across the small gap. Let's have an elevator look. You can see here this is the spark which is going to be generated. So this difference in charge causes a spark to jump across the small gap between the discs which produces the high voltage output. Let's talk about the application of this machine. The Wimshurst machine was used for various applications such as generating high voltage charges for scientific experiments or demonstrations, charging laden jars and powering early electrostatics experiments. Additionally, it was used as a tool for teaching the principle of electrostatics in classrooms and laboratories. The machine was an important invention in the field of electrostatics and helped advance our understanding of electricity and magnetism. Let's talk about some disadvantages and limitation of this machine. The Wimshurst machine has a few disadvantages or you can say limitations. For example, it can be difficult to start producing charge unless a high voltage source is already available to jump start the machine. The machine's output voltage is limited to 10,000 of volts, which is considerably less than some other electrostatic generators like the Wendy Graph generator. I have a video on my channel on Wendy Graph generator. If you want to revise the concept, I will share the link in the description. The machine can produce a large amount of ozone gas, which can be hazardous if it is not properly ventilated. The charge produced by this machine tends to be low in current and high in voltage. So definitely it is not going to be used or it is not be very suitable for powering electronic devices or other high current applications. These limitations do not necessarily make the Wimshurst machine less useful but simply indicate some of the factors that should be considered when choosing an electrostatic generator for a particular application. Overall the Wimshurst machine was an important invention in the field of electrostatics and help advance our understanding of electricity and magnetism. So I think it's enough for today. So thank you very much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video is useful for you. So take care of yourself and don't hesitate to write an email if you have any question, query, suggestion and even classes are required. Take care of yourself. Meanwhile, see you in the next video. Goodbye.